ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರಗಳು ತುಂಬ ಸಂತೋಷ ಅನ್ನಿಸ್ತದೆ ಸಂಭ್ರಮ ಅನ್ನಿಸ್ತದೆ ಥಿಯೇಟರ್ ಜೊತೆಗಿನ ಒಂದು ಒಡನಾಟದ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾತಾಡಕ್ಕೆ ಹಾಗೆ ನೋಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಇವರೆಲ್ಲರ ಹಾಗೆ ಥಿಯೇಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮುಳುಗಿದವಳಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ಒಂದು ನಟಿ ಅನ್ನುವ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಕಡಿಮೆ ನನಗೆ ನಾನು ರಂಗಭೂಮಿ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಅಂತ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಪರಿಣತಿ ಅಥವಾ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಪ್ರದರ್ಶನ ಮಾಡಿದೀನಿ ನಾಟಕ ಮಾಡಿದೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಅಲ್ಲ ಆದ್ರೆ ನನ್ಗೆ ರಂಗಭೂಮಿ ತುಂಬಾ ತುಂಬಾ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಐ ಲವ್ ಥಿಯೇಟರ್ ಐ ಲವ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ವುಮನ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಿನ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಿನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಮದರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ ಟ್ರೈನರ್ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಫೀಲ್ಡಲ್ಲೂ ಹೌ ಥಿಯೇಟರ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಮೀ ಥಿಯೇಟರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಶೇಪ್ ಮೀ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಶೇರ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಐ ಕೀಪ್ ಸ್ವಿಚಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕನ್ನಡ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಫ್ಲೂಯೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ಸೊ ಐ ಕೀಪ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಯರ್ ಐಮ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಎ ಫ್ಯೂ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಸೊ ಆದರೆ ನನಗೆ ರಂಗ ರಂಗಭೂಮಿ ಹೇಗೆ ಅಂದರೆ ನನ್ನ ಈ ಎಲ್ಲ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಹಾಸು ಹೊಕ್ಕಾಗಿದೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಕರಗತ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅದು ನನ್ನ ಭಾಗ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಕ್ಕೆ ತುಂಬ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತೀನಿ ಚಿಕ್ಕ ವಯಸ್ಸಿಂದಲೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ಹುಡ್ ದರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ಕ್ರೇಜ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಈವನ್ ಸಮ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ಎಟ್ ಹೋಮ್ ವಿ ವುಡ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎಂಟರ್ಟೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹೈ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಎವ್ರಿವೇರ್ ಬಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿವೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಟಿಪಿಕಲ್ ಡ್ರಾಮಾ ಆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಕೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ Uh, never understood the theater per se in those processes and it was only with women women's group would perform and being in a brahmin family orthodox family actually i was not allowed to perform but somehow somehow i got it i i started uh, what you call avakash sikkidagella elkond 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 marta 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 hogbitte so there was like nobody could some privilege i could get ಸೊ ಅದರಿಂದ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಬಂದೆ ಬಟ್ ಮೈ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಪಿ ಜಿ ವೇರ್ ಐ ಆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇ ಬ್ರೆಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ಕಕೇಶನ್ ಚಾಕ್ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಉಮಾಶಂಕರ್ ಪೆರಿಯೋಡಿ ಹು ವಾಸ್ ದ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಮೈ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ನರ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇ as a product it was like quite overwhelming people were telling but for me more than the product the process was important the process because that is the first time i am experiencing something like a very fluid team work there's no hierarchies you work together you evolve we play together you born it as a person not somebody directing and you you becoming a object there you are there life you you whole process becomes like an empowering process and that gave me i working with bo- and men like we were i was also quite young so it was like working with the young boys a uh, young boy happened to be my lover husband everything it was like not even able to dream somebody acting even for the acting sake i love you to this is a bona it was not easy and it was really bit difficult but breaking the barriers really made to feel that human relationships have so many dimensions and it really bloomed so well that was my first lesson uh, and of course uh, when i talk about theater for me product is beautiful product is nice to see but process is totally a different experience adar prakriya idiyalla ಅದು ಕೊಡೋ ಒಂದು ಅನುಭವ ಅದು ನನಗೆ ತುಂಬ ದೊಡ್ಡದು ಅದಾದ್ಮೇಲೆ ನನಗೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಅನುಭವ ಬಾದಲ್ ಸರ್ಕಾರ್ ಅವರ ವರ್ಕ್ಶಾಪ್ ಇದು ಹೇಗೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಮಿ ಅ ರಿಯಲ್ ಡೆಪ್ತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಸ್ತಾರ ಕೊಡ್ತು ನನಗೆ ಆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಅದು ಏನ್ ಕೊಡ್ತು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ದೇಹವನ್ನ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳಕ್ಕೆ ಐ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಎಡ್ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಬಾಡಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ and they really and what is my body how is it like and what is the relationship with mind and body how is it so together how it influences each other and uh, and how in the expression 
when you act out or whatever you do, how body is also very important. You feel that expression is not just a matter of talking or something. It is. It has a body element, very powerful element. Actually, powerful than the work, uh, verbal media I felt. And as a woman and being in a Brahmin family, see the concept about body. What we experienced as women is really, really, very, very inferior feeling about your body. Uh, you feel. Your body is uh, dirty. You feel you have to be. You are asked to be like modrus kondo, tadis kondo, kalas <coughs> kola hangilla, kal mele kalha ki kut kola hangilla. One salpa, it, just to bend also, you feel very careful. Something will be shown, and you have to be very careful about your dignity. False dignity it is, but still you feel that <laughs> you have to uh, carry yourself in a way that your body is not shown. Which covered as much as possible, and at the uh, uh, untouchability you feel during the periods, all three, four days, especially in the Brahmin family, you are you are out outcasted, and the whole feeling that what is your body? Your body is made to feel a matter of shame. It's not a matter of dignity or something. So it's like it it goes on for 20, 20 fly years this experience, and. And when you go out, the kind of looks you experience, how people look at you, and the kind of sexual uh, uh, looks, yes. all this, how, how it affects our body. And ultimately, by the time you are a young woman, you are so sh shy and you are so um, rigid with your body. Uh, so, Badanda's workshop really helped me to explore the beauty of the body and there I started loving my body, respecting my body. That was the beauty of it uh, and other things, other elements I learned in that uh, process is like a, an atmosphere without hierarchy and uh, there is no recognition for the typical concept of beauty. You have this sense, no people call me beautiful, but the real beauty, what is it? Real beauty. And uh, all those who came to the workshop, there was nothing like one person cannot act, one person can act, nothing. Everybody could, you might have experienced it several times as theatre, in the theatre workshops. You feel everybody, everyone can come out, everyone can like really express themselves. And the other thing is, touching is not a crime. <laughs> touching has a beautiful element. And touching has mo so many layers. It can communicate different uh, range of feelings and experience. And it could be very respectful. And it could give you a, another sense of world. So just imagine what we in the other normal life try to snub that we could experience in the theatre workshops. Touching could be so beautiful and in a lighter manner, sometimes you get a little excited, happy with the touch. There's nothing wrong about it. Enjoy. Enjoy the beautiful touches. Have that sensual experience also. That's also very good. In Nandavishya, the other thing I learned is the, mm, the whole thing of trust. The, in the theater atmosphere, you feel the sense of trust between each other. And another beautiful thing is, nothing has been pronounced as, okay, we are talking about equality, we are talking about uh, sauhardate, nothing. Without uttering these words, you experience the equality, you experience the sense of empowerment, you experience the sense of uh, like looking at beauty of different people. So that's the beauty of that I could learn uh, in. And that way with a beautiful opportunity, little, little things have done, small, small experiments, nothing great. But all this has influenced me to grow. Uh, the other experience I had with, was with Dr. Dari, Prasanna sir has directed. That was another totally different, intense experience. That was uh, so intense because 
there uh, i started learning about some some concepts of acting some concepts of stage some concepts of how do we present ourselves so and he used to tell uh, in kannada i would say natka madbedi natka madbedi feel it enjoy it experience it it will come on its own so it was like in kannada when you say you are going to do the nataka but he kept telling don't don't nataka madbedi natka madbedi so uh, and a uh, 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 feeling an anubhav is to the like this is another thing in our society like we snub the feelings we don't let the feeling come bloom properly we don't express feelings anything happens any discussion first you talk with the intellect not with your feelings and that is possible in the theater atmosphere where you really acknowledge your feelings share your feelings and the other things respect to the labor shrama that was what i learned along with prasanna ji where as you all know we clean the toilets we clean the floor where we work and it's like respecting the work and there is no hierarchy of tasks acting is also important performing is also important uh, swabbing the floor is also as important that sense of respect to the uh, thing so all this made me feel that when i as a trainer work as a facilitator all these aspects have helped me uh, communicate better work with people better i am a gender trainer and uh, uh, when you, you when you f- uh, do the facilitation it's not just intellect which matters it is the sensitive uh, approach and being sensitive to each other becomes very important so in this process Uh, I had one more director help me, Mohan Chandra, Mangalore, who helped me evolve small, small plays. The stories coming from the uh, field where I worked. It's like it was part of my profession. It's not as a theatre I did. I did it as like as a communicator. I wanted to communicate better with the people, so I picked up stories from the field where I work. I used to work with the tribal women and uh, uh, rural women in this area only. i was heading an organization so interacting with them gave me lots of insights so use those stories to bring out small 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 uh, 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 place smaller 8 minutes 10 minutes it is single per- per- person performances but what used to happen was it's, it was part of my training i go to the people i perform it one performance discussion would unravel whole day so it's like that and these are so flexible uh, no costumes no special costumes 10 people i did it in my family and even rest of my family or it's on kautumbik durjanya that is domestic violence sexual abuse all this little little plays on different things which poses question to the audience so then we have discussion along the line so this was uh, helping a lot and it was very flexible like this is seen in durga there's a scene in durga there's a play so where the husband beats the wife and some sometimes crazy people laugh i don't know it's a defense defense mechanism or something they laugh it so in that play situation i could easily stop and say you are laughing now but you know how i am feeling just now after getting the uh, getting such a abuse from my husband can you can you can you just relate to my feeling for a while so it's like a, immediately within the play you can like interact with the people this was this was so powerful in my training process or not to place always and the other thing i very effectively used was the image theater this is like to make people feel their inner feelings express their inner feelings so image theater was very helpful like i remember a few gestures always like you you all must be knowing what is in a cinema theater especially you people so it's like uh, people just get warmed up and you get to, you give a theme and they have to give a, um, a visual image of what how do they respond to that word like i was working in the district of koppal where uh, maternal deaths were very common so i was working with a team of uh, 
team who were working on this issue. So in the process of image theatre, I gave this word becoming pregnant. It was like a, some bomb blast. People, the gesture of people was, you, you know in the cinemas, how pregnant, news of pregnancy becomes. You carry the heroine and you feel how oh, everything happens. But here, everyone sulked, became very depressive, became like a, the whole image was so capturing that you could feel the, the sense of fear they have about the whole pregnancy process, the, the uh, dangers they experience in that. And from there, it's easy to address the issue. We could, we could have a nice dialogue with them. And the other thing, uh, we, we give one more theme, usually I bring it. Uh, your husband is about to beat you. So most, 99% of the gestures are becoming uh, shrink. No, there's no gesture of reacting, stopping. You, you getting me, no? Yeah, yeah. Like how the inner self, the inner feelings, like it, it's, it's a spontaneous reaction. If you would have talked to them, they would say, we will give back, we will do that, they will do this. But in the theatre expression, they, they don't use this lot, no? It's a spontaneous body language. And then we would discuss about it. So these are some beautiful things I experienced. And with children also, with children I feel theatre becomes very, very, very important. By the time we meet them, they are used to this. School has taught them this. So the body is tight, rigid. It is so difficult for children to like really bring out, bloom out. The, I, I always wonder why, why you restrict your body to this extent? Such a beautiful, wonderful thing to experience the world. So I always, this is a big question in me. Like why in the education system, why in the other fields, the restricting body becomes so important. How it is the patriarchal work, patriarchy works here, the other hierarchies also works. So, and for me, my belief is theatre is the place where you can come out of these restrictions. So, I don't want to glorify it, but still I would like to say, uh, theatre has enriched me, my personality, my life as a human being. Made me a nice human being. I could, like really, uh, and uh, it gave me the ability to overcome the discriminations I experienced in my life as a child also. Like the clothing and covering is so important. Even yesterday I was thinking when coming by the train, I am in full dress, you saw me in the morning. Sorry, at least you, something is visible. That full dress also, I suddenly feel I should cover myself. What, is, what else is there to cover? But the, the trained mind makes you feel that your body is, shouldn't be visible. So, I, I was thinking in spite of feeling so much liberated experiences also, this still works in my mind being 60 years old woman. So, how about the body consciousness makes you feel so... Another uh, thing I could uh, get was the like shattering of Brahmin identity. As a woman, I feel a little inferior, I get this discrimination. But as a Brahmin, I have a superior place in some context. So, how I could shatter this through the theatre. And one more beautiful insight was the understanding of real beauty. What is it, real beauty? Uh, Prasanna Ji has organ organized a workshop, a uh, theatre festival here by name Akka. There I saw Malayashri Hashmi, who was acting. You must have heard about her, Sardar Hashmi, Jan Jananatya Manch. It's a beautiful uh, theatre group. And she was there on the stage in between really star kind of people who are really gorgeous to like that uh, 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 something I can't explain <laughs> in, in between them she was looking unique, different and empowered. The body language itself, you, you feel that 
Ah, what a beauty it can be. There's nothing, no, nothing can beat this beauty. And for me, it is a big learning in the theatre experience also because people called me beautiful. So I was not sure whether to enjoy it or not enjoy it. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I have learned what is important, what is not important. The other thing is being a mother. Motherhood gives lots of experiences of body. Delivering a baby, um, feeding, uh, feeding uh, menstrual, uh, menstrual, all these things. All these experiences are made to like you, you feel inhibited to do. You feel so uh, uh, shy to breastfeed it if in front of people. But I could really enjoy all those processes because my, I felt my body respectful and I could enjoy all these things. And one <laughs> might find silly. I could happily do susu in the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> I have friends who happen to travel in the bus and if you have to uh, go for a susu in the open ground, even if their bladder is overflowing, it doesn't come out. It's so, so like body becomes so rigid, you feel so shy. But it's a natural thing to happen into your body and men are so happily going out and uh, doing that. So this is one more thing. And actually I learned the beauty of body and mind together working. You can't snub the body. If you snub the body your mind won't bloom. And if you really restrict your mind your body won't bloom. There are two major aspects of our personality and theatre has helped me realize this beauty and I am a very happy person in that way.